Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel live wire video tutorial, we will see how we can apply the form validation on a form. So for the reducing the time of this video, I am just going to continue with my previous video. In the previous video, we made a simple form with the Laravel uh, live wire and submit it to the component and I will just give you the overview of the previous video also but still if you just want to know that know the all things in the detail then you can just get the link from the description box and watch the previous video also so now let's check out the points of this video we need a simple form which is we created in the previous video then we have to define the validation we will see how we can show the error messages and how we can apply the some little bit style that how we can make the red or green and all and uh, we will also see that how we can uh, apply the validation on the typing typing on in any input so let's say you are just typing the password and it will tell you that the password password is short and password is uh, uh, length is uh, should be greater than this and less than this and all all right so now i am just going to open the two file one is the registration.play.php and this is our registration component which we made in the previous video so we will just work through only on these two files this is our blade here we have a form and the wire.submit.prevent a property this, that, that is actually prevent to the reload of the page as well as submit to submit the form to the submit function and we defined the submit function here after that we have the three fields here you can see that and in the three fields wire model is uh, binding the properties like name email address and the password these three things are binded by the these properties all right and uh, we using this form on a user link if i am just going to put here some like name and password and all then this is the result of the previous video and now in this video we will see if these are invalid fields then the error should be there all right so now let's start so first of all as i told you we have to define the validation so how we can define let's come out the php class and just uh, right here dollar this and there is a function with the name of validate uh, this is not validate this is validate my bad and this function actually take an array as in parameter so here we can pass the fields that you just want to apply the validation like I just want to apply the validation on a name and name should be required so it should not be empty field uh, let me check the error what is that Yep, I think I just misspelled the required. I don't know why I am just going to misspell too much things today. Let's try to submit it. It will actually not submitting the form even. It is not giving any error. Because for the error message, we must have to apply the uh, error message. And we have to show them. So just right here, on every field, uh, just use the iterate error directive. And with the error directive, we can use uh, let's say any span or whatever you want so but first of all we have to put the error name because this error field should be related to the this model all right if i'm just going to put here password like this then it will just provide me the error message related to the this password model so just put here name then i can just simply put here span and here we have a property message which will auto automatically generated by the validation form and uh, then just let's close it like this and at the last just close and the error error uh, and mm, and error yeah so let's copy this and let's put the same thing on the email address but change the property like email same thing should be there and here we have to put the password and now we are going to submit it again and here you can see that the name should be required and if, uh, the password should be required and if 
the all field will be empty then it will tell that the all fields are be other required so now let's make it the red because uh, now for a moment this is not looking a complete error so just define a style here and uh, let's just write a class the name of error with the every span like this and this just use here error dot error class and color can be red that's great refresh it empty old field again and just submit it no not working why uh -uh. let me check again yep i that's my bad yep now every field have the red error so um let's say if i just put uh, uh, correct values like this and password should be like uh, a b c at the rate one two three then it should be submit oh, oh my bad again i just put forget the password now you can see that we got the result and this is just uh, pass the validation also here alright but I just want to show this error uh, on uh, typing time right so let's say I just typing the email and it should be give me the error right how is it possible for that we just have to define a function with the named of update there is a lifecycle method in a uh, Laravel live uh, so just write here a public function updated and in the updated we have to pass the fields so just write here fields like this field and here we have to define the another function with the validate only so just write here this validate only and the validate only have the two parameters one is the field and second one it have the errors all right so let's put the all errors here and let's close it with the semicolon now let's refresh it and if i am just going mm -mm -mm, uh, misspell again i think my keyboard is not not working well yep okay so let's see again now you can see that if I'm just going to type submitting here and if I just remove it then you can see that this field is required and and when I just start typing with the email like test then it will tell that email is actually not the valid alright so if I just complete it right then this is working fine same with the password if the password is less than three character till the two then it will tell that the password have at least three characters and if I put the more than 10 then it will tell that the password should be uh, less than or 10 characters alright so if I'm just going to write here writing things like this and putting the name like Anil then everything should be fine and if I'm going to submit then it will submit it alright so this is the way that how you can just put the live validation or you can see that the uh, validation on typing so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care